Hey, I... Oh, why? Wait, what? Why are you so upset? What happened? Uh, he... Okay, do you know what? I, I've, I've really, I, I mean, I, I, I have tried with this guy. I have tried to be nice about this guy. I have tried to hope and wait that you were gonna see this for yourself. He's, you're sitting here, you, of the two of you, you're the one sitting here, crying. You, <laughs> you were gonna be crying if I hadn't shown up when I did crying because you don't feel good enough for him you can't be serious no I mean you literally cannot possibly be serious you don't think you're good enough for him really really <laughs> nah it's gonna be a joke not a very good one either Because he uh, look, I, I I don't know. I I could go around, right? Even if I just showed a picture, I know looks aren't everything. But if I showed a picture of you and showed a picture of him to many members of the public, but I, I don't even care about that. That's not even the important bit. The important bit. Is he's a terrible person. No, stop making excuses for him. Stop it. I don't care what he feeds you. I don't care what he tells you. I don't care what excuses he gives you. The delusions he tells himself. He... No. No. I'm not saying here, will you... Tell me things that... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Essentially sound brainwashed. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. And so all the times what he's been flirting with other people, that's just that's just him what all the times that he's made you feel bad about yourself, all the times he's told you that if it wasn't for him you wouldn't have anybody. You forgot about that one? Or how about that time where he tried to get you to stop seeing me? To stop being friends with me? Why do you think that would be? Huh. Trying to isolate you from your best friends. Trying to make you feel dependent on him. Wow. What a manipulative POS this guy is. And you seriously now, when he's made you feel bad again... He's just ruining your day. For what reason exactly? Oh, right. So he can keep you under his thumb. So he can keep you where you don't feel like you can leave him. And and he can just go around and flirt with other people. And to be totally honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if he... <laughs> I mean, can you not seriously see? No matter what you think of yourself at this point that you deserve better than someone who's going to be actively emotionally abusive? Do you really not think? Do you think, let's do this. Do you think that the average person in terms of, you know, moral integrity, in terms of intelligence and looks and everything else that people take into account when choosing a partner, do you think the average person deserves to be talked down to, to be emotionally manipulated, to be gaslighted and abused? No. Right. Of course not. So why do you deserve that? It is what happens. It is what happens. Because I'm watching it happen right now. Because I've watched it happen powerlessly for your entire relationship. This guy is a predator who's sunk his claws into you and he's warping your mind and you're such a good person that you're trying to see the good in him and you're trying to spin his horrible actions 
as being either your fault or being out of his control or being true. And none of that's the case. The case is very simply, he doesn't deserve you. On some level, he knows that. And so he does everything he can, everything he can, to try and manipulate you into thinking it's the other way around. Try and make himself feel better, feel more secure. He is a terrible person. And I'm so sick. I'm so sick of watching you being nice to him. Of watching you, of listening to you try to justify all of this. When you deserve so much more. When other people, other guys, would treat you so differently and so much better and make you happy. And when another guy sees you feeling like you lack confidence in yourself or or just seeing you hurt, that, that it would be their number one priority in the goddamn world to bring you back up again. And to give you back that confidence in yourself, to see you through the eyes of someone who really loves you and not someone who wants to keep you like an object there to be cared about when they feel like it or I mean I really shouldn't even say cared about well (laughs) you think he cares maybe in his own twisted way he does but it's not healthy at all look at you look at the emotional mess you are you're trembling because what because I'm just telling you I'm finally just letting out that the way he treats you is completely completely unacceptable yeah well It's a difficult spot for me because I want you to be happy. So you met this guy and I didn't like him, but I mean, (laughs) and so, you know, you are going out and you think you're happy and I keep seeing him being more and more horrible to you, but you're getting more and more invested. But I'm just sick of seeing you like this. And I can't keep pretending I think this guy isn't any way good for you. He's not. He's not. He never will be. He never, ever is going to treat you right. No, he's not. And the idea that you think he's going to (laughs) change... So, well, at least we've, we've gotten to change. Hey, that's progress. So at least we are admitting that what he's doing right now is not acceptable, right? We know that. <sighs> your kindness, your good heart, your sympathy and passion. And it's so wasted on him. It's so wasted. And uh, look, this guy, I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest with you, why you would give him a chance when there are so many other guys who would, you know, kill to be in his place. And. You're amazing. You're so... (laughs) Your heart, your spirit. Before you met this guy, you were one of the most spirited people I know. You were one of the first people to be there to comfort other people when they were down and bring them back up. And now, it's you who's down all the time. I mean, seriously, think about it. Since you started dating him... 
Aren't you always down on yourself? Aren't you always feeling like you're not good enough? Is that what a relationship's supposed to be? No. Because the other person's meant to compliment you. I don't mean only in the sense of giving you compliments. I mean compliment you as a human being. They're supposed to be a positive addition to your life. They're supposed to make you stronger and happier and help you become the best version of yourself. They're not supposed to systematically pick you apart in cynical, manipulative ways to try and make you wholly dependent on them. Someone who loves you wants to do the opposite. Someone who loves you wants you to be able to go out into the world and flourish and to be in a room without them and be confident and be, you know, authoritative and to be able to say what you think and to be able to say it with conviction and pride because you've thought about it and you know what you're talking about because you're an expert in what you're talking about because you're trying your best in your life because you're putting your best foot forward every day or at least trying to and they want to support you in anything you want to do and they want to be there for when it's going badly and when it's going badly they want to lift you back up and put you in a position where you can go again and go again and go again and get you what it is you dream of and they want to be there every step of the way they want to help you every bad step they want to applaud you every good step and they just want to love you in the meantime that's what a relationship is and what part of what I just said does this guy embody please you tell me look me in the eye and tell me he does any of that I frankly do way more for you as a friend than he'll ever do for you as a boyfriend. And I... I wish... Uh, no, it doesn't matter. I just... <sighs> no, it... Just forget it. I... I can't see you like this anymore. I can't pretend it's okay. I'm not gonna pretend it's okay. I'm not dejected, just... I'm just upset because I'm seeing you upset, that's all. Just, you can tell when I'm hiding something? <laughs> ah, that's kinda funny. You... You can tell when I'm hiding something. And one day you look back on this and you realize why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh man. That's. I'm not doubting your powers to read most people or whatever, but I'm doubting your ability to see what's going on right now. <laughs> because. Yeah, I care about you. You know that. And I hate seeing what's happening to you in this relationship, and you know that. And you know I'm waiting for a person who I feel can reciprocate what I want in a relationship, and... And who gets me, and I get them, and we want to, we want the best for each other and to support each other in our ambitions, and anyway, look, it doesn't matter, I just, you have to, you have to move on from this guy. What do you think? What do I think you should do? Huh. Well, I think you should dump his ass today. I think you should call him right now. You should say we need to talk. And when he's here, whenever that, whenever he deigns to grace you with his presence, because usually when you phone him and say you need him, he shows up. Maybe at some point that day if you're lucky. But hey. <laughs> 
you need to tell him it's over. And if he asks why, if he dares to ask why, you tell him because you act the way you do. He doesn't deserve you, and I'm... Well, by the look in your eyes, it looks like you're finally... <sighs> finally ready to fully admit that, and hopefully move on. Because... I promise you, there are way, way better guys... around. And once you're you know ready to look again you may even find the right guy we you least expect <laughs> well I think you'll find a great guy but anyway I guess time will tell but the one thing we both know right is it's not this guy and we shouldn't be spending any more of our time on this guy yeah? Because there are better guys ahead. Don't look so unbelieving, it's demotivating. Huh? No, I'm just saying it's... There are definitely better guys out there. Don't... You know... Don't sell my entire gender short, thank you. Yes, there are horrible guys out there. There are also good guys out there. You just need to find them. By opening one's eyes. You're gonna call him? Good. Good. Hey, do you want me to stay around or... Okay. Well, call me later and let me know how it goes, alright? And... I promise you, in a week or two, you're gonna really, really realize this is the right decision. Yeah, okay. That's alright. I'd... I'd do it for anyone, but especially... Especially you. Anyway, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go. I'll catch you later, alright?